Hi humans! So you'll already know by clicking on the video because obviously the title will be related. So what I am pretty sure that I have here, there's a small small chance that this is my March Glam Bag Plus because it has not come yet. But what I think it is based on feeling it and the fact that my Ipsy app says that my Glam Bag Plus isn't going to be here for like four more days. I think this is finally the conclusion to my February Glam Bag X debacle. So we're going to get inside and I will explain what happened for those of you who may have missed it, who care, and um, kind of explain how that course of events went. I can even get it open. Yes, that is what it is. Okay, so let me kind of give you a background real quick for those of you who do not know. So when I received my February Glam Bag X, of course the X is a bigger bag, it's curated, but you get to pick, if I remember correctly, five of the products and they pick three. Well, I picked products, or maybe you pick three and they pick five, whatever. I picked products and uh, when I got my bag, the Ipsy Choice items like that they picked for me, all of them were correct. Um, <laughs> however, my choice items were not. Uh, one was a highlighter that I could not use. One was a um, Skin 111, Skin 111, I don't know how to say the brand, uh, cleansing toner or toning cleanser. And the other item, I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it was items that I did not pick. So I emailed Ipsy and took pictures of my app that showed what I selected and pictures of what I actually received. And I was like, hey, <laughs> these are not my items. Can someone advise? So the lady who answered first said that, you know, she confirmed that they weren't my items. She got a little bit hung up on the highlighter that I received and kept confirming that I did not ask for the highlighter when I was like, no, I didn't ask for any of these, but okay. And she said that she was going to put in for my items to be sent to me correctly. I was like, cool. Well, a while passed and I never got my like new shipping confirmation or anything like that. So I emailed back to the same email thread and was like, hey, just touching base, was seeing if there was an ETA, blah, blah, blah. Well, a new person responded for some reason thinking it was in regards to a boxy charm ticket, like literally the first email said, hey, you reached out to Ipsy, this is a boxy charm ticket, try again. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a conversation that I was having with Dolly, which was the original Ipsy rep, um, about my February Glam Bag X and the uh, missing items, because I was sent the incorrect ones, trying to touch base on when my items will be sent to me. And they were like, oh, yeah, we see that here. It looks like Dolly started it and then never actually finalized it or it never actually got processed or whatever the case was. So they were like, we're going to go ahead and get that sent out right away. You should receive a tracking email. Still never did. And we're going to throw in a bonus item for all of the trouble. So <laughs> I should have my February Glam Bag X items in here and a bonus item. So the first thing in here was Anhydra. This is the Waterless Clay to Foam Daily Cleanser. This was the actual cleanser that I picked for my bag rather than the Skin 111, which wasn't even in the um, booklet thing to memory. Uh, we have this, which I was very excited for. This is the Ipsy Croc bag. I thought this was so cute. Let me all the paper off of it so it has like this faux croc um like exterior you've got a little heart and uh ipsy zipper pull you've got your two little spots for the um strap to come across they are on the same side so when it's laying crossbody it should lay flush You've got thick bubble wrap. And then in here we have our strap. 
So very excited to finally have this. I thought it was super cute. It's not like huge. It does have the little Ipsy um, label, like all of the Ipsy bags. It's not huge, but I feel like it'll do. Like it should hold my wallet and my phone and what other small miscellaneous item I'm bringing around with me, whether that be chapstick, lipstick, mascara, all depends on the day and where I'm going. But super cute. My only complaint is that I do wish the Ipsy side of the zipper pull faced the front rather than the side that I'm clearly going to have against my body. But really minute complaint. Next we have, this must be my bonus item. Okay, it's a Brazilian bum bum cream. I am perfectly okay with that. So I love the way this smells. I have some in my bathroom. I thought I had one in here, but I guess I did use it up. And then last but not least, yeah, making sure there's nothing else in there. We have the K18 Biomimetic Hair Science. This is a leave-in molecular repair hair mask. It says usage, shampoo, do not condition, towel dry thoroughly, begin with one pump of K18 mask and add more as needed depending on length, thickness, and condition. Work evenly into hair from end to roots, one pump at a time. Let sit for four minutes to activate. Do not rinse out style as usual. Use for the first four to six washes and then every three to four washes as needed. So I'm really hoping this will help my hair. Um, yeah, it says it results in soft, smooth, strong hair with bounce that feels like new. The more damage to the hair, the more dramatic the results. So we'll have to give that a go. And uh, that is it. I have finally finished my February Glam Bag X and received the items that I was supposed to receive. So that's it for anyone who is along for that journey. Um, that is the conclusion. It is over. I can stop waiting for these items to come. I'm sure anyone who watched that video has already completely forgotten about this by now. So sorry to bring it back up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that is it. I'm sorry that there wasn't anything to like really try on in this video, but because it had been such a debacle, oh, I did want to update y'all as well. One of the other issues that had happened during that video was that the Pat McGrath gloss, um, when I pulled the actual gloss out or the actual wand out, um, did I put it up in my gloss drawer? Let me see real quick. No, I did not, which means it is not in this room. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know where else I would have put it, so it must be in my bathroom. But the actual wand, when it came out of the tube, the doe foot was curved, like completely curved, uh, instead of being straight. So I emailed them about that as well. And I was like, oh, by the way, um, this is how my Pat McGrath gloss came. Just want to let y'all know. They told me that unfortunately it was out of stock, so they could not send a replacement. But they apologized. That's perfectly fine. I tried to stick it back in there straight. So hopefully the next time I take it out, it will, you know, come out a straight doe foot. I have no idea how long it was packaged curved. So... It may take a little bit more than one time of putting it in correctly to get it to straighten out. Or, like, I may have to leave it like that for quite a while. Um, I mean, it's already been a good bit, but longer than obviously what it's been. So, anyway, I also emailed Pat McGrath um, so that they could know and told them, you know, their partnership with Ipsy, this is how my wand arrived. I sent them a screenshot from the video um, where you can clearly see the <laughs> bend in the doe foot applicator and was pretty religiously checking my spam folder as well because I was also trying to hear back from an email from Glambot about the um, jelly much that they sent me that was like melted. Never heard back from that. But I also never heard back from the Pat McGrath team. Um, I wasn't expecting or wanting any kind of replacement, just kind of acknowledgement because somehow, somewhere on either their packaging or QC, that 
slipped through the cracks. Um, and I find for a brand as luxe as Pat McGrath, you know, that would be something that they would want to address. Um, so I thought that was kind of weird. But anyway, off the top of my head, I think that is everything wrapped up. I have my items. I have a bonus Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. And um, they could not do anything about my Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath never responded about my Pat McGrath. And that's it. So let me know your thoughts down below about this situation. Um, have you ever had like weird issues like that where you've reached to an outside brand? How did that go? I did once in the past and it was for a boxy charm. Um, I received a MAC lipstick that clearly had some kind of solid chunk of something in the actual tube. Um, like the, the lipstick itself, when I opened it, there was a solid slice of something sticking out of the top of the lipstick. Um, so I emailed Mac about that and Mac actually sent me a replacement themselves for that product. So, um, cause again, that was like a QC thing. I didn't think it had anything to do with BoxyCharm, just like the Pat McGrath thing. I feel like it has nothing to do with Ipsy. Uh, but I told them just for the record, because I don't know if mine is the only one that that happened to. Like that's clearly a fluke situation. So anyway, if you want to see more of my videos, there might be some channel updates coming soon, some small changes, so I might need some feedback for that, uh, but subscribe if you want to see more of that, and uh, all my links are down in the description, as always, and since this is an Ipsy-related video, I will be leaving a link to sign up for Ipsy if you are interested, and uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye!